Every corner of Google and YouTube is swamped with mouse trail animations that hardly differ from one another. It feels like everyone is just going in circles trying to make the same kind of effect using the same old tricks we have all seen a million times. Then I stumbled upon a mouse trail effect that really caught my eye, something genuinely different. I saw it as a chance to really step up the game. So I spent a few hours trying to nail down this unique effect, something you won't find on YouTube, Stack Overflow, GCF forums or anywhere else. I managed to pull it off using SVG and JavaScript. It felt like it deserved its own YouTube video, especially for those who are tired of those mediocre mouse trail effects. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's not wait any longer and dive right into how you can add this dope cursor animation to your site too. Alright, we are diving into SVGs to get this animation off the ground. First up, I am adding an SVG element to our HTML. Inside this SVG, I will add a path element. For those who might not be familiar, paths are super versatile. They let us draw anything from simple lines to complex shapes. Now, the key factor for any path is its D attribute which defines its shape. We'll define its value dynamically with JavaScript a bit later based on where the cursor moves. I'm also assigning it a class named Trail. Next, we have got to color our trail. You could set this up in CSS, but to keep things straightforward, I'll specify the stroke color directly here. Since we are aiming for a multicolor trail, we'll replicate this SVG element six more times, each time switching up the stroke color. And that's the setup we need on the HTML side. Time to add some basic styling to page using CSS. First off, we are setting the background of the entire page. Next up, we'll add some basic styling to the SVG elements. Since our SVGs are going to be the canvas for our mouse trails, we position them absolutely to make sure they do not interfere with other elements. We set top and left to zero to anchor them to the top left corner of the screen as their default position. Lastly, we'll set pointer events to none to ensure that the SVG doesn't block interaction with elements underneath it. Now let's talk about the path elements that make up our trail. We want the trails to be visible but not filled, so we will set fill to none. To give our trail a bold look, we set a generous stroke width of 50, making it thick. The stroke line cap and stroke line join properties are set to round to ensure that the trail has rounded edges and joints. And that wraps up our CSS setup. We begin by selecting all the elements with the class trail and storing them in the trails constant. These are our path elements within the SVGs that will create the visual effect of the mouse trail. Next, we introduce an object that tracks the position of the mouse pointer. Initially, it's set to the center of the screen. The total points array is an array that defines how many points each trail will have. This creates a varied effect where some trails are longer and others are shorter. We then listen for the mouse move event. When the mouse moves, we use GSAP's two function to smoothly animate smooth pointer's position to the new mouse coordinates over 0.5 seconds with some easing. This smooth transition is what gives our mouse trail its fluid easing effect which makes it visually appealing. Inside our update path function, we loop through each trail. For every frame rendered, we add the current position of the pointer to the beginning of each path's points array and remove the last point if the array exceeds the predefined length for the trail. This ensures each trail maintains its specified length, creating a continuous flow. We construct a path string starting with a move to command to the first point followed by line to commands for each subsequent point in the array. This string is then set as the D attribute of the path, rendering the actual trail on the screen. Finally, we call request animation frame with update path function to create an animation loop. This continuously updates the position of each trail in relation to the mouse's movement, creating a dynamic multi-layer trail effect. The script combines smooth animations and dynamic path updates to bring a captivating visual effect to your page, making the mouse movement a central part of the user's interaction experience. Hope you find the video helpful. See you in the next one.